Hey everyone, my name is Vijay and welcome to SandTube 3D. So as you can see here, recently I've been working on a Goku that stands about 5 foot 3 inches. I've been posting this on our Facebook forums to share with people and everybody's been commenting back about how I got this print so large and what do I need to do to scale it to this portion and how to cut it the right way. Well, I'm going to share all of that with you guys today. But well, before we get started guys, for those of you that are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And for all of you guys out there, always hit that notification bell just so you know when the new videos are coming out. Now before we get started guys, I just want to let you know this video mainly focuses on scaling your STL models, not how to cut them. I will put a link in the descriptions of a detailed video on how to cut STL models. Most of us usually go on either my mini factory or Thingiverse and download our STL files from there. Now the difference is sometimes you'll download an STL file that's a whole solid piece or sometimes you'll download an STL file which has the pieces already cut into multiple smaller pieces. Not to worry, I'm going to show you how to enlarge both of those and how to cut them as well. Now before I continue with this video, just to let you guys know, this is just the way I do it, guys. Maybe there's a different technique out there, different way of doing it. Um, if you're aware of such a method, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below so we can share this with everybody else. So let's go ahead and get started with a solid model as you can see here. So I imported Goku into here just so you guys can see that it is a solid piece. Once you have the piece that you want to enlarge, you need to figure out exactly how big you want it. And once you figure out how big you want it, go and go into Google. Um, and if you're in the UK, you can do meters to millimeters. But in the US, we do feet to millimeters. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and just use three feet. Uh, if you want to do eight feet, uh, that's how many millimeters your model needs to be. 2, 4, 3, 8. But like I said, we're just going to go ahead and stick with the three. So we need to make it nine. 14.4 okay once we figure out exactly how many meters is in three feet we're going to open a mesh mixer and we're going to go ahead and import the model so once you select your model and have it imported this is a very important step right here guys uh, if you notice that's the printer size my printer currently is the Creality CR10 so what I want to do is go to the top right from the drop down arrow click on printer preferences and hit add what I'm going to do here is just enter Creality, and then the model, I'm just going to click on CR10. And then on the right side, as far as the dimensions, uh, you enter the correct dimensions, which is going to be 300 by 300 by 400 in height. Once you go ahead and do that, just click outside the box, hit OK. You'll see Creality there. Click on the little arrow, and then click on CR10, and watch what happens to the left. Once you click on that, you'll notice that the scale is not correct to what your printer can print. And once you do that, uh, then you can move on. Now, this is a very important step. I recommend that you guys all do this. Once you do that, just go ahead and uh, fix the model, position it in the position that you guys want. And you can do this by clicking on Edit on the left and then clicking on Transform. And then you'll notice a little arrow pops up right there where you can move it up and down, side to side, tilt it, however you want to do it. Now, once that's done, guys, here comes the important part. See where it says Size for the X, Y, and Z? Um, that's what we're going to be changing is the Z size, but make sure uniform scaling is on otherwise It's only going to increase the Z. So you're going to click on The Z size and change it to what we converted in Google which is 914, but I'm going to go and write it round it up to 915 and this is what your model is going to look like so this is three feet and as you can see the square outline of your printer so you know what your printer is capable of printing as far as the size and that's why it was very important to do that now again all you're going to do here is just click on edit transform and move the model around so what we're going to do is try to basically fit the model inside of the printer as you can see right there and once we do that we need to go ahead and cut the model of course uh, but first you got to reposition it to exactly make sure everything's inside the printer look at the front and back view and once you're happy hit accept and then after that click on plane cut once you do that you will have to zoom out a little bit but before that this is very important you have to keep both pieces okay you cannot discard one of the pieces because otherwise it will delete the model for you so again under plane cut cut type make sure you keep both pieces and once you do that and you'll see this little arrow again you just bring it down to where you want to cut it and as you can see I'm adjusting the size 
and the model right there on the left leg is actually what's going to be printing first so once I'm happy with it I'm going to click on accept and you'll notice when I click on separate shells which is the next step on my right hand side a little box will pop up so you got three pieces if you notice now so you got the top piece once you click on that you'll notice because that's the piece we have not fully cut yet but we have cut the bottom pieces so you got the right leg and the left leg so what you want to do here is go and click on the model and then go ahead and go down to export which is going to be on your left side once you do that uh, go ahead and save this very important make sure it's under binary or STL binary format and make sure you label it correctly like left leg or left ankle or left boot whatever something you're going to remember what the model is okay and then that, once you do that you're going to go ahead and do the same thing uh, to any other pieces there in this case it cut the right as well because there's nothing connecting it to the top body so I got four pieces or sorry three pieces here total so what you can do is go ahead and move the pieces to the side by clicking on edit transform and using the arrow to drag it or once you've actually saved it you can just hit delete by clicking on the model and then the trash can at the bottom right on that screen and once you do that we're just going to repeat the process you're going to click on edit transform bring the model down to make sure it sits inside the printer and then once you accept the positioning you're going to click on plane cut and scroll down and pick where you want to actually cut it again very very important under cut type always 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 pick keep both pieces and once you do that you just hit accept and again I'm just going to repeat the process uh, you can click on the model export and then just continue on so on so on and so forth now one thing I will recommend guys is that when you're cutting the models never cut it to the full size of the printer meaning if your Z height is at 400 maximum don't cut it at 395 cut it at 350 give it a little bit of space trust me it's gonna work out in your favor and this way you're not pushing the printer to its limit now with that said we're gonna move on to the second part where you download the STL files in pieces so here we need to find out exactly what the length of or the height of the model is going to be I know it's in pieces so what we're going to do is go ahead and put them together in Cura so we're going to lay them flat and then just kind of attach them and you don't have to be very accurate about it so when we lay the models down they're definitely going to touch each other so we need to turn off a feature in Cura and to do that uh, you're going to go into preferences and once you click on that right there where it says keep models apart we're gonna uncheck that because we do want the models to touch each other so once you have your models placed where you want them you're gonna hit control A then you're gonna right click and then go down to where it says group models once you do that you'll see a little square box around the model basically you just told Cura to make this as one piece so what we want to do is find the Z height now so you just turn it rotate it however you want on the left side the second icon will be scale and once you click on that, we're looking for the Z height. In this case, it'll be 209.1. 209 so then we're going to go back into Google to get the measurement again. Remember, 3 feet equals 914. So you're going to take 914, which I rounded up to 915, and divide it by the Z height that you got, which was 209. So you're left with 4.8. 37 which I'm going to round off to 4.38 now that's a very important number and how you got that was you took the 914 which is equivalent to 3 feet and you divided by 209 which you got in Cura which is the Z height of the model so once you have that number go ahead and import your first model and you notice it's regular size click on edit on the left transfer on the right now normally we did the size but here we're going to do the scale and the Z so this is where we're going to enter the 4.37 which I'm going to round up to 4.38 so what this does is the scale is at 1 and we're, we're basically multiplying it by 4.38 the times so once you enter that into the Z, click outside of it anywhere and you'll notice the model will enlarge. Again guys, keep make, make sure that the uniform scaling is on, okay? And then you just place this on the bed. Again, edit, transform, and the arrows pop up. You place it where you want, hit accept. Luckily, this model actually fit right on the bed, so we just hit export on the bottom left.
and after that what you want to do now is go ahead and load the next model you hit the plus sign on the top left hit replace and the menu will pop up go and select your next model and there it is and again we're going to repeat the same steps guys you're going to go to edit on the left once you've placed the model and you're going to go to transform and then we're going to go to scale z and we're going to enter the 4.38 and once you do that you'll notice the model will enlarge itself then you just gotta go and click on the arrows place it where you want it again and once you do that now here's the important part you want to make sure that the model actually fits on the printer build surface and if you notice here it does not so what I'm gonna do is once I position it I'm gonna take a look at it and right there a little bit is hanging off now if you are set on printing it at three feet um, then you're going to have to cut it. Uh, so what you want to do to cut it is go ahead and click on edit again. If that menu is not there, click on transform. And you're going to place the model to the part that's actually going to print. Okay. Once you've placed that and you know that part is what you need, you're going to click on edit again and do plain cut. Again, very important guys, keep both pieces. Do not discard one of the pieces. Once you do that, uh, you're going to go ahead and just move the bar to where you want the model to be cut. So if you notice, I'm going to print the chest piece is solid and the arm is where I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And once you do that and you place the placement of the cut where you want it, hit accept. And then you're going to do separate shells, which is going to be under edit again. And you notice these are the two pieces I'm left with. You're going to click on export, make sure it's on binary and label it to something you will be familiar with when you're actually printing this in Cura. So there you go on that one. And after this, you're just going to repeat the process, guys. You're going to hit the plus sign, replace, bring in the next model. You're going to click on edit. You're going to go transform, scale, Z34.38. And there you go. There's the model. You're going to reposition it again. And then just cut it according to your printer size and what you have. And that's basically it. You're just going to rinse and repeat over and over and over until you get the pieces that you need. Again, very important. Label them so you know what they are. Well, guys, that brings us to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go and leave it down below. If you guys ran into any trouble or issues, please leave it in the comments down below. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you've tried this method and you like it or if there's a better method, let me know guys, leave it down below in the comment section so everybody can know and then maybe we can look into that as well. Um, like always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, you know, it is what it is. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button guys. There's a lot of useful tips and tricks when it comes to 3D printing here. If you'd like to support the channel guys, which would be very appreciated, uh, there will be some links down below affiliate links as well and like always we'll see you next print